Hey, this is Miles with Selleramp. In today's video, we're gonna jump inside my screen and do some live sourcing using Selleramp. We're inside my screen now and we're gonna look for some profitable online arbitrage products using Selleramp. So I'm starting off with Great Value because we know that Great Value is a brand that all arbitrage sellers are gonna be selling. It's only gonna be arbitrage sellers. Why do we know this? Because Great Value is an Amazon, is a Walmart private label brand, so we know that no one's gonna be wholesaling it, so the sellers on this listing, we know are going to be doing arbitrage. We can use Selleram to reverse source items that we know are being sold by arbitrage sellers, so we know that other products they're carrying in their catalog are potentially going to be profitable arbitrage products as well. It just drastically increases our chances of it. Hopping in, we can see that there's over three FBA sellers on this listing, so we know that it's not private label as well. We can see SAS lets us know that right here. Just checking out the uh, seller amp right here so we can see we are eligible to sell it. The BSR is 24K, estimated sales of 108 right here. Currently selling by boxing at 1750 right here so we can get a vibe of that. It is a bundle of six, which is going to be a little difficult to deal with that at only a 17 cost. But either way, just for a starting point to find other potentially profitable online arbitrage products, it's not bad. We've got some other great value products up here. So this one is by boxing at 22. We can see the BSR is a little bit higher on that, and then a 10 pack right here at 31. Ranks a little high on this, so I'm gonna stay away from it here. And on the 76K, we'll just go off the 24K one right here. So looking at the Kibo, we can see that there's 24 sellers on it right here. Checking out some of the more advanced data, we can see this is 0.67% of BSR top uh, percent right there. Buy box at 1750. And we can see the FBA and FBM seller accounts within SAS right there. Some of the other information right here. And if you were to merge fill this as well, you can plug in the FBM calculator as well compared to the FBA right here. And once we do find profit lines, we can just one click Google X Google Sheets export to your sourcing spreadsheet right there. And we can see no discounts and we can get a vibe of the competition and their stock counts here as well which is pretty awesome, so we can just come in here. When I'm sourcing, I typically won't look up people that are FBM or just attempt to reverse source them because there's a good chance they might be drop shipping and everything, so I will, I'm gonna be fba for the most part, so that's why I typically like to look at FBA sellers only, so we can check out some of this and just get a vibe of what these other sellers are moving right here. And you can also just hover over and see their review counts as well as, as, well as their stock counts, obviously, whether they're FBA. FBM or not as well to just increase your probability of finding someone that's a comparable seller to you that's probably doing the similar sourcing methods you are as well. So uh, hopping in to check out some of these sellers right here, we can see the different brands they carry within seller app as well as the top categories they carry right here, same deal, checking out these right here and category names right here and same thing as well. So we can see this uh, seller has a lot of great value and a lot of equate here as well as some Disney. Uh, McCormick, Hot Wheels, different stuff like that. So a lot of toy brands right here. So we can just, for sake of example, we can start out with just the uh, the toy stuff right here. Within SAS, coming down here and looking at the different, how close the storefront price is to the buy box price is a decent rule of thumb in terms of stuff you want to look at just because it's naturally going to be a more hot lead depending on how close their storefront is to the buy box price. Right here we can see C, so it's a little off here. It's very close here as well as we can scroll down and get the vibe of the Kiba charts right here. Typically, when I'm live sourcing, I like to brand filter or category filter because I don't want to be competing with Amazon and everything. And I've been in the game for a little while, so I know what brands Amazon tends to carry themselves and whatnot. So that's helpful once you get to that point on everything. But either way, just within SaaS, you can scroll down through all their products and see the ones that tend to move quicker at the top, the lower BSRs and all that. Right here, so then, the way I like to do sourcing is I'll come down here and look at typically check out the Keepa, check out the buy box price on stuff and then different potential Keepa charts that might make sense for me, I'll click open and look deeper at those products right here. So I'm looking for a lot of price stability. Here I don't love because we can see the sales rank went down a lot recently. Well, the sales rank does look pretty good. Yeah, 9K, that's not bad at all. We can take a look at that right here. Looks like a very similar item, similar trend in sales rank as well. It looks like it probably just got recently listed. We can see Jurassic World Dominion 2022. Yes, there must be a new movie coming out or something like that. You can see I'm not a huge fan of products under 15 to 20 bucks just because there's a lack of price flexibility there, but that's just me personally. Lots of people like selling those as well. And let's pull up a few items that are over 20 bucks right here. If we can find some 23, max cost 12, so it must be no buy box here. And then 
check out one other. Let's pull a different brand right here. I mean, we'll do Equate or Hot Wheels here, for example. Let's see if Amazon's on any of these. Amazon's not on them. And we can see there's just some really high ranks here. So I'm personally going to stay away from this uh, Monster Jam, just for sake of example. And these are really cheap as well. If the sales ranks are good, we'll open one of these and go ahead and take a look for it here. All right, so it's not bad, 62K. Yeah, buy box is pretty low. Within SaaS right here, we can see, get a vibe of this listing as well. So 62,000, that's not bad at all um right there i would i would prefer lower if possible let's see some of these other ones yeah 9k so right here within seller amp so once you identified a product where the seller amp statistics make sense for you and the keep statistics make sense for you and for example just personally right here this is a high offer count but the sales rank is low and we can jump in here using seller amp and look at the stock counts of everyone and see that like pretty much half of the people right there only have one in stock and at a sales rank this low all those could be gone within a few hours potentially right here so then we can take a look right here and just hit uh, one click Google with seller amp right here. And this might actually be a hit. Uh, this is, it's going to be close right here. So 1199, we need to make sure this is the right item. It sure looks like it. And oh, okay. So the buy box is very low right here. Yeah. So 12 uh, buy cost call like 1250 or so a little higher everything right there yes yeah, so we would lose 40 percent. so that definitely doesn't match it <laughs> definitely doesn't match what we're looking for and we can see the same thing right here about to pay very low for this like five bucks not very confident in that so we'll hop out of both of these and take a look right here so this 2021 get a vibe of the keepa get a vibe of the stock counts of our competitors right here. And literally it's like everyone has one right here. This is one of the most underrated features in my opinion is looking at the stock counts of everyone else right here and just understanding the metrics there. And we can see the total offer count right here. Also want to mention, you can see offers right here and see the competition on stuff just within the actual SaaS platform right there as you're going through stuff right here. So just checking out in terms of finding this. So we want to pay like, four bucks would be idea of five right there. I don't love that profit per unit, but I know people that do really well with that stuff. Right here, okay, 164. This is actually gonna end up being very close. And there's, okay, and so just a, a note on sourcing. I uh, definitely like the idea of this right here. So 10% off email coupon right there. If you have a catch-all setup, that can be really helpful. Just an OA tip right there. Need to make sure this is the right thing, which it sure looks like it is. Uh, Legacy Trucks Whiplash, I think is the name specifically. Um, let's see, so this is different. So we need this turquoise one. Wolf said, okay, so we don't have that turquoise one, but I'm gonna see if, uh, let's see if anyone is carrying other ones. Let's see what some of these guys with lots of reviews have in terms of Monster Jam. Okay, seven right here. So let's see. So we want, they got some like the Superman one. So it's blue, red, blue, red, and brown. Okay. Does that dark blue one match? Okay, so it's light blue that we want right here. Okay, so I'm not quite seeing anything right there that matches, I don't think. We'll pull up one or two more in terms of this. Because at a five cost, if any of these are moving for like, or it's $5.99. Yeah, so at a $5.99 cost right here, so $5.99, if any of these are moving in like the $15 range, then that becomes profitable and potentially uh, volume here as well. There's not a ton of volume sales wise and there's a high offer count. So this typically wouldn't be the thing I uh, would personally go after here. So we can hop back to the great value item where we started and do a little bit more poking around right here. 50 review count, lots of these cat food right here. See some of this stuff, some Neutrogena as well, we know is uh, gonna be, oh, Amazon's on it though. So I don't love the idea of competing with Amazon. Personally, right here, let's see 1950, uh, right here, so check out this item. Maybe we'll check out some more, but this is really the way I do a lot of my own sourcing is just using Selleramp, keep uh, going ahead and understanding, right, what people are carrying in their catalog and then going out and looking for those items, trying to find them profitably, getting creative, using coupons, using sales, using Rakuten, checking out with the high rewards credit card, all that kind of stuff can add to your OA margins right there. So right here, so we can pay, I mean, uh, it's like in the $8 range would be ideal right there. Profit per unit's a little low, but the volume isn't bad and the offer count's trending down. So we can see in Kipo and check the stock counts of our competitors moderate but at this sales rank i don't mind that especially too being that some of the lower ones are 
FBM. So if we're FBA, then we're naturally gonna get a disproportionate share of buy blocks compared as well as if you're repricing right here. So we can see 7.28, so 0 0.28 ounce right here, 128 for 862 at, uh, at Walmart. So that's gonna be close. So 862 right there. So that's a moderately profitable item, especially if you were to FBA, you could be very price competitive with these guys here in the 1950 range. And in that case, this is gonna end up being a profitable item as well as you have to click into it um, and everything and make sure you know it makes sense. But I can see it even has pick up locally here, which you could potentially move a lot quicker going ahead and that route. But assuming this is the right size, which definitely seems like it is, um, mild, yes, yeah, so mild 46. 46 right there. So that becomes a potentially profitable item that you guys can maybe go take a look at and more importantly then use seller amp to reverse source off right here. So feel free to go check out this ASIN on your own and get a sense of it right here. But we can see there 37% ROI. That's not bad. And who knows, you might even be able to get sales closer to, you know, 1975, 20, and then it becomes like a 40% ROI on that. So thank you guys for checking out this video on the seller amp YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. Make sure if you haven't already, Go check out the tool linked in the description for a two-week free trial on that. And we'll see you guys next week for another video. Thanks a lot.